just scraping the wall. Here we go. What's up everybody and welcome back here to Assetto Corsa for a bit of a drift car review video. I did get the keys to a VDC E92 from one of the members of the Usual Suspects. Definitely looks super amazing. Killer's Radio's Usual Suspect. Levery looks awesome and the body kit and everything that he has on this car looks pretty sweet with the, you know, diff, exposed diff, rear rad fans, the uh, exhaust and that really interestingly cool rear window that has the usual suspects logo on the back the vented window for the rear radiator with the fin and everything like that you can see the radiator through the top definitely a very very well done model definitely like these vdc custom cars so we are starting kind of like a vdc custom race car um review you know series we're starting off with this you know get the keys to these personal vdc cars and uh rip them around a couple tracks you know give my honest opinion about them Definitely do love how the E92 looks and uh, sounds for sure. So we're going to get this car to the track and definitely see how it handles because while well, sitting here it looks good and uh, I love all the detail work in it. I definitely love how this thing looks. Super excited and super thankful to get the keys to this car. So let's go because it's definitely hard to get personal cars from VDC competitors to allow you to drive them. So we're going to close steam right there. We don't need that open right now. So we're going to go take this to the proving ground, basic track, and then we're going to take it to some, maybe some VDC car tracks and everything like that. So let's get to it. We're just going to head right into the proving ground and just send this right away. Get the wheel cam and everything turned on. There you go. So we... Sounds good. Belching fire is out the top and the back of this car. So I know he's been doing a lot of work on that rear window and it came out perfect. Looks good with the usual suspects logo. It's cool to see the radiator fans and everything in the back. So VDC cars have a lot of power and a lot of angle, something that I'm not used to driving yet. So this will be a full test of this car. So I'm in third. Ooh, just a little bit on the wall. So I haven't driven this new version of this car yet. I drove it a, a smidge of before he modified the version and everything. So this is kind of a first takeout of this new version of this car and it it handles. It transitions nice. <laughs> Rip inside joke for you usual suspects guys. So the car, I feel like if I tweak the gearing and everything, it'd be amazing. And this car handles super well. It's very grippy. It's got a lot of steering angle to be able to come back and catch itself. And one thing I'm not used to, and you guys know from following me and all my competitive attempts and everything, turbo lag is not something I'm very used to drifting with because I like, you know, just power on command, V8, you know, V8 hate, whatever you guys want to say. But I like just being able to just floor it and not have to worry about the turbo lag in school because when I'm chasing, I tend to not know how to keep it in boost and I fall out of drift like there. So I feel like if I could get used to how these cars handle with the turbo lag, I would make me a much better driver. This car handles very well. It looks amazing. Kind of having a lot of fun with this. Super glad he, uh, you know, gave me the keys to his personal VDC car, which it's very hard to get, you know, current VDC cars. You know, you can get the 2018 VDC cars and stuff like that, but like current competitive VDCs for the season, people don't like to give them out because <laughs> they don't want people to uh, mess with them too much. So really thankful to be part of this team and, you know, get a chance to drive one of the team's VDC cars so I know what I'm getting into trying to get my VDC license because these cars, a lot more angle, a lot more power, and uh, definitely a different form of drive. So we're going to switch up the tracks here and go to a another track, maybe a actual VDC track, and try and see if we can't nail some lines with some actual tracks. So... Texas is definitely one of my favorite tracks. Road Atlanta. There's a lot of EDC tracks on here that I could be testing on. So we'll go to Texas. I do like Texas. Probably going to have to tweak the gearing a little bit on this car because I feel like the gears are a little bit short for Texas. So we're going to mess with the gearing a little bit and see what we can do with it. 
So I definitely love the way this car looks, sounds, and so far handles. It's a very, very stable car. We're going to drop the tire pressure down just a smidge. I think we're going to bump this up to about there. So like I said, VDC car is definitely a big difference from what I'm used to. These cars have a lot more power um, and a lot more grip. So you need to be ready for the car to do what it needs to do because it'll snap on you real quick. So we're gonna give Texas a shot. We're gonna probably run the new layout which is outside outside clip. There's that turbo lag. And see right there if I didn't clutch guy I fell off boost so I don't think the gears are set right yet. Oh, taking out those way off so gearing is definitely not where I need it to be so let's go back to pits tweak those gears a little bit I gotta find my gotta find my keyboard here there we go uh, let's see back to pits gears and a little bit more there we go now I probably some people are probably saying I'm going the wrong way but I don't like to be rev banging too too much that seems like it could be better but I need to stay on boost so definitely need to left foot brake more and stay in boost give us another go more clutch kicks is what I need to do see right there it kind of fell out of boost Just scraping the wall. There we go. Oh, I'll finish that run off. So that wasn't too bad of a run. We're gonna take a look at the replay angle of that one. That wasn't too too bad of a run for first run out with this, you know, E92. And it is uh, definitely a different style of driving these VDC cars. So I need to work a little bit on not angling out as much as I am right now. We're pretty good on that clip though. Nice quick snappy transition. We would have been right on those a little wide there, but I feel like this was almost perfect. Fill that zone, just a little wall tap. Then we over angled there. So I need to work on the over angling aspect when it comes to these BDC cars because they have a lot more angle than the cars I'm used to. So I need to dial back, I guess, my angle so that I can drive them a little bit better. But it's so nice to get my hands on BDC cars that are currently. You know the specs so that I can see what I'm getting myself really into when trying to get my VDC license this initiation seems very slow to me oh, taking those clips out running that way wide in the dirt Definitely not the best run at all here at Texas, but starting to get the hang of the car. So the car handles pretty well. I just need to do what I need to do. So we're going to go to another, I think we're going to go to a DCGB track. Trying to find where I want to go. I kind of want, kind of want to go to Long Beach. So we're going to go to Long Beach. It is a VDC track. Definitely love Long Beach Circuit when I was on Forza, one of my favorite tracks to do tandems with. So we're going to run this. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Now we need to tweak generic last, load that. We're going to try the gearing and everything that I set last time. So if you guys keep wanting to see these basically drift reviews on other people's pro cars and other cars, let me know down in the comments because it is very funny to do this on Forza with custom tunes. If you guys have a VDC car that you uh, would like me to give a shot, let me know down in the comments. We can get in touch on Discord and uh, I can get it downloaded and I can do a little bit of a you know test drive on your VDC car. So let's heat up the tires a little bit. Alright, 
Long Beach. VDC car. Don't know how this is gonna work. Not sure. Gonna have to stay in boost. But we're gonna definitely give it our best. Foot forward. Stay in third, kick it in. Definitely different than on Forza, but oh, that's not different. Ugh. Oh, so we didn't wreck it too bad. We just went a little bit deep in that outer zone, coming into the wall. So we're gonna give this another go. Whew, Long Beach, definitely a fun track. It feels so much different here on a set of Corsa than it does on Forza. We gotta get it going. I gotta get, you know, myself comfortable in some VDC cars. Because I know a couple of you guys were saying that DCGB cars are crap, but they're actually fun to drive. But the VDC is definitely where I want to be. So, VDC cars definitely going to have to get my uh, bearings straight in these cars. Let's go. The car is doing what it needs to do. I am just not. Oh! We're just going to try and finish this off because I know... I hit the wall. Definitely have to bang that in second gear. So, getting a little more comfortable in the car. So, my overall impressions of this E92 VDC car is it looks stunning. I love how it looks. The handling characteristics are pretty good. Um, is it something I'm entirely used to? No, because I'm not used to the VDC cars yet. So am I doing the car total 100% justice? I'll admit it. No, I don't think I am. Uh, the actual you know, owner or other pro VDC guys would definitely probably do this car more justice than I am, but he let me give it a shot because he wanted me to see how I liked it. And I definitely like this car and super glad that I have it in my car inventory because I'm gonna try and drive this car more and more and get more comfortable with it. Maybe I will do some tandems with him himself and some of the team and really try and dial myself in on these VDC cars. I don't know what I was doing there because that was not a good initiation. We're gonna, we're gonna re redo that. Nobody saw that. So my finger, if any of you guys want it, is actually doing a lot better. Uh, it's no longer wrapped and everything is pretty much almost coming off. So should be back to my full driving capabilities here very shortly. I'm not using that as an excuse for my terrible driving in his car right now, but it is a factor. Oh, I should not break that long. Alright, I was off the wall, but we're going to try and get a full pull here. That was way off the wall. I feel very bad about this run, but you know what? I'm just going to finish it off. The car... <laughs> car does what it needs to do, all I'm going to say. So if you guys liked what you see and want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section down below. Appreciate the fact of getting this car from 13 from the usual suspects. Big thank you to the team for helping me you know, become a better driver. And you know what? These VDC cars, you can see a lot more of them because I'm going to be dialing myself in and getting more. So make sure you follow me on all social media. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Hopefully not driving like this.